Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you around the ATS one box for Freightliner trucks. This applies from 2012 to later models, 2019 or even 2020. So let's get started and find out how this works. Okay, as you can see, this is the inlet from the box. Okay, this is where all the exhaust gases goes, all right? And the first stage is the DOC box in here, is the DOC. As you can see, this one has a twin DOCs. So, Freilander up for this design because I believe they say, okay, we're gonna make one box and we're gonna make people to spend more money. <laughs> Not sure about that, I just joking. But uh, uh, this design is okay. The problem I see with this one is like, if your DOC goes bad, all right, this or the other one, you have to replace the whole thing. So for me, it's like, really guys, really? But that's Freilander. Freilander is the only uh company that i know right now that does this one complete box for everything okay except for the dpf filters which i have in this side so as you can see here this sensor that you can see here is the temperature sensor this is the for the inlet all right this is the inlet side all right this is the first temperature the computer is gonna read and we have the pressure sensor that goes in here right so this one is connected to another sensor in here these two are independent sensors because Freilander doesn't use a delta pressure sensor to measure the pressure between the inlet and the outlet side so they have one sensor for the inlet and another sensor for the outlet so these usually is the pressure in here is higher than the outlet side because you know the suit stays in there and it burns and you know what happens between here right so the next sensor in here is the doc outlet temperature sensor all right there is no in this case for freiliner there is no uh pressure sensor between the DOC and the DPF here as you can see in this part here is when the major um, uh, temperature is gonna occur I'm talking about more than 1000 Fahrenheit okay so when we use the scanner right drivers can't see that but drivers and owner operators can see that but technicians and mechanics we can see that with the scanner uh, computer whatever you want to call it and this is the when everything where the main temperature is so here is when all the hashes burn okay if for example in this part is the outlet of the filters if you can see a smoke or, or it's dark in here like a, there is like cardboard or soot it means like there is something wrong with the filters with the dpf filters to be specific because these filters in here as you can see here right here is when this is the inlet of the filter okay and this side in here is the outlet as you can see this one is really clean okay but sometimes if you see here like start building suit around it means probably the filter is getting clogged and all the uh, and all the exhaust is going on the side of the filter okay there are some there are so many cases of water fuel oil so it depends what's going on with the engine but usually if the filter is cracked it's just smoke in here like all all soot around okay so if you can see like so if someone uh if there is a technician that removes your dpf filters 
and they they just tell you hey you just need to clean the dpf filter but you can see something there is soot in here it means probably your filters won't last they they might be able to clean it and they might work for a while but this one is getting slowly it's gonna build up more and more soot so i suggest you to change the dpf filters as soon as you can it might be costly now but in a long run you will have a, a breakdown over the road okay as you, these are the clamps these two clamps are the one that holds the dpf filters and these are real expensive clamps <laughs> the, the set i believe it costs around i don't know 300 or 400 dollars from freelander which i believe it's really expensive and the bad thing is like I, they are no reusable you had to replace them every single time you clean the filters you had to replace them all right because as you can see this part in here is the from the uh, is from the asbest or the seal and once you remove it there is no way you can reuse them all right so now let's check it out we already talked about this hole in here this is for the pressure uh, for the DO, DPF outlet pressure sensor this is the DPF temperature sensor outlet okay and this is one of the mainly <laughs> the mainly things driver cries about the NOx sensor this is the inlet one okay and I heard many drivers say why the NOx sensor breaks a lot of times I have no idea it might be defective parts from Freilander uh, I don't know guys but uh, we change a, a, a lot of times this sensor in here but uh, as I told you I don't know if they are defective parts and you tell Freilander you want warranty they won't give you warranty because they are electric parts so that's what it is guys but this is the when when they talk about the inlet not sensor is this one inlet or intake they are the same thing so on this side you can see this is where the DEF injection goes okay some trucks has just the injector especially I believe from 2015 there is only the injector in here it has no more the metering valve you know metering limiting valve <laughs> there are two things limiting valve is like a air solenoid metering valve is the one who check how much pressure are in the in the DF line it makes air so it's gonna be enough pressure to you know to uh, make the mix and you know uh, you know uh, fix uh, I forgot this word uh, <laughs> uh, to you know to make the, the to pulverize you if you want to put it that way to pulverize the, the uh, to inject the DEF sorry guys to inject the DEF in here that's what it does but in the newer design they, they remove those two parts and they just stay with one single injector in here so that's good for Freelander I'm glad that they did that because oh man it was a pain to change the ball under the chassis and then sometimes you had to replace this one too on the side and it, we, it were more it were more costly okay so this is on the side of the DPF and now we're on the rear part that usually drivers can see only we mechanics or technicians can see and this is the SCR inlet temperature sensor this one usually doesn't get bad I, I never changed this one before because it gets bad it's mainly just the main harness but it gets bad but it's good to know okay in the newer ones okay we are going to talk about 2000 18 and up i believe freelanders especially the ones with the newer uh chassis uh it has in here uh just it doesn't have a sensor anymore in here they don't use it anymore so that's the difference between one of the difference between the newer one and the older one ser system and um we have here the outlet knock sensor that goes in here sometimes it's a pain to remove it from here you know this part in here you cannot put a socket on it because it's so tight but this one has plenty of room so that's nice this is the Knox outlet sensor okay guys 
and we have the SCR outlet temperature sensor and of course the outlet and as you can see in here let me remove this for you guys um, as you can see these two these two things in here are the SCR panels right when the conversion occurs between the ammonia and whatever other things are over there I'm gonna try to let you know guys how this actually works in another video if I can but here with the heat uh, this is when the corrosion takes place and it's supposed to here com come here free of soot if you can see something dark like a soot or whatever like soot or you can see oil or fuel I can tell you guys you have a really big issue with your filters and, and pretty much with the engine so uh, this is the way it works the SCR system okay and if you have any questions let me know in the section down below and I'm gonna try to answer as soon as I can and that's it guys and I know this especially this part for Phylanel is really costly but I suggest you if you're gonna change it please uh, try to change everything at once everything I mean sensors not sensors uh, mirroring uh, injector because if you change everything and you have problems later on you know those parts are brand new and you don't have to replace it you can tell the people who's checking your truck hey don't change these parts I already changed it okay so that's all that I have for you guys if I forget something that I need to mention in the video please let me know and thanks for watching bye